In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this high-end fashion shot using clamshell lighting. Oh, there's bugs in my wine. Oh, that'd be buggy. That's still alive. It's a beck. <laughs> oh my god, it must be so drunk. It's a beck. Oh, there we go. oh, this one's still alive as well. That's right. Can you get alive and start filming? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for stopping by, thank you for pressing play. Uh, today we are shooting, <laughs> that was a new one. Sorry, I laughed again, my bad. No, like Google, serious. We just finished shooting an editorial with the awesome Anna Banana over here. And we know how much people have been struggling with shooting editorial, so we thought we'd do a tutorial on shooting an editorial which is over on Inspire, but we just wanted to give you a little bit of a sneak peek over here because we're nice. That was about as much as I rehearsed in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Don't giggle. <laughs> I'm probably forgetting so much, aren't I? I always no, am. I'm just waiting for you to say, give me the gimbal. Okay, give me the gimbal. <laughs> Cool, so with the editorial we're doing was we wanted to do black on a dark background and I know you can see it's a white background but when the, with the aperture we're shooting at which is f9 at 160 ISO at 100, sorry 160th of a second at 100 ISO the background goes black because of that. We're running with two um, small collapsible beauty dishes but they're, they're a little bit like little soft boxes. Um, once you put this diffuser on, they're more a softbox than this beauty dish. Uh, the top one is there to actually do the lighting, but this is going to put quite a harsh shadow under her chin. And the bottom one here is just filling in that shadow just a little bit to take the harshness off. With the lights very close to Anna and also pointing this way, all well, the power of this light is going to here, the power of this light's going there very little light falls onto that back wall. So that's how we can end up with quite a dark background. Yeah, I spent some time before just balancing it out. Uh, I wanted to have it, I'll just snap off a shot. Cool, and you'll get to see what's happening. So we've got it reasonably well lit. The fall off down here is fine for me. I, I didn't want it to be bright the whole way down. Even pushing my exposure a bit up, but it's because I put a fairly heavy down on this if I maybe turn off that, turn off that, and turn off grayscale. That's what we're getting with the shot. So we're a little bit light here, but I'm gonna double check that she is standing where we had her before. And, oh, she's a little bit in front of her dot. Lucky we put dots on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Yeah, it's looking better. That's definitely backed off. So you can see we've got separation. I didn't want to put a hair light in because it just, I didn't like, I don't like that look for doing stuff for editorial. It's not really my look. I've got plenty of detail in the black. So you can see it's I've still got detail in my black. So black against black is still separated. My settings is, like I said, I've put a little bit more exposure on here because of the down curve I've pulled off. A bit of contrast, a bit of shadow fill because of this down curve and a tiny bit of clarity, which is about, I, it's about the amount of clarity that I could put in in ACR if I was going to use ACR. Oh, quickly as well, sorry, because I just remembered, because um, there's another question we get a lot. People tend to ask about lighting setups like this. I always ask how many centimetres away the model is. That's not how Peter works. You don't work by like centimetres and measurements. No, I work in inches. you actually going to measure it. For the people who need to know centimetres, <laughs> I never ever light this way because if I have another model come in, these will be set differently to suit that model's features and face. But anyway, for the people who do want to know, <laughs> Anna is standing 700 millimetres, oh, it's about 800 millimetres. It doesn't have, sorry Americans, you're gonna to have to work that out iPhone does have a good thing that will tell you, and about 900 to the top. These two <laughs> are about one metre apart. This bottom one is 800 off the ground. Um, the measurement from Anna to the back wall. <laughs> is 
is 5.8 metres. Um, the measurement to the roof, oh I don't think I can't do that one. Um, the measurement to the camera. Oops, I'm okay. just being silly now. Um, but sometimes this stuff is not, in my very early days, I th thought I always needed to know this stuff. But that means you, you, then you're lighting by numbers. And I don't work that way. Every single lighting setup I start from scratch. I don't have any measurements and I adjust it to make it look best on that model. Yep. So in the setup we did for this, I had this light in about 10 different positions till I was happy where it was. And if I had a tape measure, it still wouldn't have got me there straight away. Yeah, I just wanted to address that because I know we get asked that quite often. We do, and it's our channel is not telling you how you have to do things, it's showing you how I do things. Yeah. Doesn't mean I'm right or wrong, it's just this is how I work. I like it simple, my brain's fairly simple, so I need to be simple. I like to use visuals to see what I'm doing, I don't like using numbers. Yes, and then you can take what you want from that. Yeah. I'm just going to banana boat my model, and anybody who doesn't know what I'm talking about needs yeah. to go, watch. go watch the banana boat tutorial. <laughs> And a banana as well. Yeah, and a banana. And a banana, yeah. So it's just an aerosol uh, 50 plus sunscreen. It gives us a beautiful shimmer on the skin. So I use it a lot if I want a bit of shimmer. And if it gets too shiny, just a wipe with your hands will take half that shine off. So I'm just gonna see what we've got now. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'm just swinging this light out a little bit. And this is why the tape measure doesn't work because I'm just changing Oh, she's not on her dot. So now that I've got her back on her real dot, we're going to snap that off. Uh, and one other thing, just to remind everybody, if my flash is not on, we get a black picture. So you'll see that's just that bit of halos with my clarity and shadow fill slider. But, so that's what we get if we don't have anything on. So there's my shot. <laughs> It's lighting her, I'm getting this beautiful shimmer off her skin. So with this, I don't want her, this is not about small movements, it's more like fashion. I want lots of movements quick, lots of different shapes. So, so I don't want her to have time to think about her look. Uh, it's very much about fluking it because if we try and set a look up, it'll never work. It always looks staged or set up. But with this, there's a ch good chance that I can fluke the picture, I'm still out a bit wide. Yeah, so I could never pose Anna to be that, and if I told Anna to put her hand like that and like that, she'd get a weird face. So that's why I just like them to move fast. In this outfit for the editorial, we'll be lucky if we need two photos. It's gonna come in a touch to get above that light. That's better. Cool, that's really pretty. Just move again. Cool, cool, strong, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. And anybody who's seen some of the earlier YouTubes with Anna, you'll notice that she's on her toes the whole time <laughs> in her fluffy slippers. <laughs> she's comfortable. So, <laughs> she's comfortable. So with this uncertain in here, we have actually added, I reckon, a new sh shot. Let's, let's do a change. Let's go to your, uh, the bikini. Yeah? yeah. All right, so Anna's changed into, it's a bikini top and uh, it's a high-waisted bottom. And I'm gonna let her go again. Then I'm gonna show you some of the other lights that we've got here. I'm just making sure she's on her spot and I'm happy with how that's looking. Maybe a tiniest bit back with this one. About just there, yeah, cool. So let's just snap off some cool ones here again. So, and up on the toes. Cool, that's really pretty. That's cool, cool, cool. Nice, nice, keep moving, beautiful, beautiful. That's nice, that's awesome, 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 cool. Yeah, that's it, I like it up and there, there, there. Just a little bit, that's perfect, chin up just a little bit. That's it, nice, nice attitude. Too much chin on face, remember? Your face is worth money, don't hide it. Cool, beautiful, beautiful. Is there's a really nice second light I have. So if I come around here, I can work my way around here and have a whole heap of different lights now, as long as she doesn't go any further forward, that's really pretty. And back to me. That's really pretty, that's really pretty. 
cool. Up to the light like you did before, remember that? Chin up, even right, you know, hey, drift right around, that's it, cool. And come back over your shoulder, that's it, cool, nice. Nice, that's really pretty. That's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's it, cool, 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 cool. I'm fairly fussy with the look I want for certain poses. Oh yeah, see, they're beautiful. Mm. We might go do a last look. Okay. okay? Yeah. yeah, so these are giving us a real cool look. We've got so many different variations. You'll see just by spinning her around, we get a lot of different looks using those two little lights. And one of the really good bonuses with these two little lights, it's something I could travel with. I could very easily have all this packed into a suitcase, two little heads and two collapsible lights. All right, for the last look, all we've done is we've done implied. So she's got some tape on her boobs and we've got, she's still got the bottoms on us to tie this whole look together. Cool. Cool. That's really pretty. So when I'm shooting this, we, I can't, well, it's not as easy to make the model move like crazy because they need to try and cover for this. So I tend to just work a little bit slower. This is a little bit, well, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. Those eyes are stunning, stunning, beautiful eyes. Cool. Eyes stunning. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. I'm just going to do a couple on that side again with this. If I can still just come in on this angle, that's, that's really pretty. That's so soft. Yeah, I like that too. I've got a lot of play room with this. That's pretty, that's really pretty. Beautiful, beautiful. She's nailed this so quick. So I'm gonna do one little extra thing. This isn't something we did for the editorial. So I've put a, another light down here, pump up a decent bit of volume. Basically, what I want to do is blow out the background. So, I don't know what it's going to look like, but it could look really cool, or it could look really crap. So quite often on a commercial shoot, I will do a change like this. Okay, so that's, that's giving us a different look, but I want to make this high key, I want to blow it out more. Using lots of power, let's just go full. Let's move it in a little bit more. Let's get overexposure warning on. Ah, oh, perfect. Cool, I was just checking how much over I was. That's over enough to keep me happy. I'm gonna turn overexposure warning off and you'll just see it's given us a completely new look. Nice. Cool. Beautiful. Stunning, stunning, stunning. eyes, eyes. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Cool. Yeah, so as you see by just adding one light, my front light has, I can still have the exact same light on the front and then do the back, but oh, I like the back so much better. I still, I still preferred my black, but for my client, you saw the little bit of work of dropping another light on the background gives me a whole new look for them. Hope you enjoyed that. I say that every time now, but we do. We really sincerely do. Hope you enjoyed that. We've also got our Facebook group. If you want to join that, you can, um, like we love seeing like if you've done an awesome shoot then you can post like your best photo or if you've got questions, it's this little community we've got going on Facebook. So I'll leave a link to that below if you want to join that. We don't have workshops coming up. So I can't do, what do you do? <laughs> I don't know how my brain works. <laughs> we don't have workshops coming up unfortunately, but stay tuned, I will keep you posted on that. Other than that, um, I'm yeah, just, just trying to hurry her up. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here with us. We love you all. Thank you for all your support. Thank you. <laughs> Ciao for now.